Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un presided over a meeting of the ruling Workers' Party Central Military Commission yesterday, 25 days after Pyongyang suspended its military action plans against Seoul. So North Korea's state media reported that the meeting focused on inspecting troops and potential military threats on the peninsula while not making any specific mentions of South Korea or the U.S. This marked Kim's first public appearance in 11 days when he visited a mausoleum to mark the anniversary of his grandfather and the North's founder, Kim Il-sung's death. Incheon City has confirmed that what's suspected to be a dead buzzer midge larvae found at a purification plant in Bupyeong. This came during an on-site investigation into the city's water distribution system following citizen complaints that bugs have been found in Incheon's tap water. The latest discovery is raising alarm among authorities as the Bupyeong plant is equipped with advanced purification functions that provides water to 300,000 households. Meanwhile, Seoul's water supply officials are looking into a report from Jungu District that a bug was found in the tap water there. Hanul Nuclear Plant Unit 6 in North Gyeongsang Province's Uljin County suspended operations at around noon yesterday due to a false signal issued in the process of replacing a component while radiation leakage has not been detected. Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power says that the malfunction caused coolant pumps and nuclear reactors to stop working and that it will decide when to resume operations after determining the exact cause of the breakdown through an inspection. Finally, Gwangju Metropolitan City has pressed charges against a coronavirus patient from Seoul's Songpagu district who has spread the virus to at least 12 people in Gwangju and South Chola areas in secondary and tertiary transmissions. The patient tested positive last Wednesday but lied to health authorities about having visited Gwangju for a family gathering. This patient is known to be linked to a cluster infection involving the door to door sales company in Kwanaku district. You can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles. Coming up next, a further look into Mary Trump's new controversial book, followed by the recent developments regarding the Trump administration's policies on immigration.